Heck yeah. All right, it's windy. Back at the Google outlet, and I'm super excited because I actually have my eye on something that I've been wanting to buy. And as you guys know, I've been using the funds that I earn for my profit at the Goodwill Outlet to buy items for my dream wardrobe. Kendall Jenner, am I them yet? How are they walking? Maybe we can do a side-by-side. -side. We're gonna go look today. We're gonna go hunting for some great stuff, and I'm so glad that I get to take you along. Okay, so this is new to me. I looked this up, Curious Gypsy, and I saw some crazy comps of like a hundred bucks, but it's because this style, or I guess this brand was worn by Bella in the Twilight movies, but it's like the Henley version of this. So, so if it's not that style, it doesn't seem to be going for very much, but I just think that's really funny. If it's worn by a celebrity, immediately you can charge a lot more. All right, so this was fun. I, it felt like cashmere. And so sure enough, when I look at the tag, Eamon Marcus, made in Scotland, cashmere sweater. I wanted the cashmere. So the trick with cashmere is it gets holes a lot. So you gotta kind of look. I mean, I need to obviously get the animal hair off, but I don't see any holes and it looks to be in really good condition. Okay, so sure enough, this seems to be like a 50 to hundred dollar find. And I found another one in here that I actually have more. I just, it was so fast and furious, I didn't pull out my camera. So yeah, I will show you guys what else I got. Right off the bat, some athleta, these are the newer. This is like the newer athleta because it has this style name right here. Cabo linen textured shirt. And a really good size, so yeah, these are too pretty. So we're, we're already getting pretty lucky. I'm up all night to get lucky. Okay, so we've got some Miss Me. These are the Irene boot bling pocket. They have been repaired. I think that's okay though. I still think they'll do okay. A very staple brand. Bread and butter for me. Carhartt. Size 4 to 6 is like a women's smaller size. Yeah, super great. For 10 to 15 bucks. It sounds quick. Okay, so two and it's true. We've got not one but two pairs of Athleta joggers. Both size small, both black. So what I think I'll do to get a little bit more money is I will lock these together after I obviously clean them up. And they could sell together for like 40 bucks. So let's go. All right, so this is a really good condition Nike Pro half zip. This will do great. And I actually also found some Nike men's shorts. So Nike just is one of those things that just sells bread and butter consistently and quickly. For me. Okay, this is that Nike Hyper Warm Pro fleece lined, like kind of a heather fitted top. Um, it's perfect for winter because it's got, again, that fleece lining that keeps it super warm. And I think it retails for like $68 and I got it for like 50 cents. Um, I think it resells for around 35 to 40. But again, this is probably another one that I will be putting in my own closet because I think it's really cute. And I think it's extremely functional for these super cold winters that we have here. Everyone's lining up so it might be time for me to do the same. We've got some Eileen. This should do well. A little short sleeve linen shirt. This seems to be like basically new condition. Okay, I don't think I adequately expressed my excitement over this Patagonia Nano Puff vest at the bins. It was hard because I was like digging through stuff and it was super crazy. So there were certain things I just couldn't have a reaction for, but this is amazing. It's basically in brand new condition. This sells for over $100 on eBay and retail is I think around $200. I keep thinking of the Nano Puff jacket I got for TJ at REI years ago that cost, I wanna say $250 or something crazy. And I cannot believe I found it's similar, like comparable vest at the bins for maybe 60, 75 cents because it's super lightweight. That blows my mind. Maybe the find of the day, only rivaling one other. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Okay, so to elaborate on the Christian Dior, I'm back at home. This is a Christian Dior vintage men's sweater. It is a really exciting find. This will sell for between 50 and $75 because it is Orlan acrylic, which is really, really good. It's a waffle knit, but 
I mean, this isn't like a Dior bag or a Dior, you know, something more fancy of Dior's and more recent. I have sold a Christian Dior saddle bag for $2,200. That's kind of cool. And I cannot believe I found it at the bins. Even better that I paid like a dollar for it. What do you think, you're better than me? This is a consistent, good brands. It's like a sweater dress. It's really pretty. Okay, so this is like a North Face skirt. Size eight, this is great. It's just, again, a bread and butter item. We'll sell well. Just check for stains or holes, but no, it looks good. Oh, okay. So this is a really nice kids brand. It's a really cute little dress. Yeah, I, I'm gonna have to look up exactly what this might go for, but it's really, really pretty, and these retail for a lot of money. Guys, what is this? Look at this. It, it's got like a bunch of like typos. <laughs> Time tames the strongest P. What? <laughs> what? Okay, so mole knits. I had to look this up because it was felt nice. And I see some really good sold comps for it. I think it sold in anthropology. This could sell for like maybe 50 bucks. I don't know. We'll see. And then here's another anthro brand, but these little cardigans, I just can't get to move for the life of me, so I'm gonna leave it behind. <laughs> okay, finally got lucky. I got some rock revivals. These are just some crops, Serena crops, so they won't do as great, but they will definitely still sell, so thank goodness. Hey, okay, some more Zaya. These are some crops. Oh, wait, they might be full length. They're kind of tucked in, and I have one hand. Yeah, okay, these are crops. But yeah, this is a consistent mover for me for sure, and they're in really good condition. This must be my lucky bin. This is basically a new Athleta. Is this like linen blend? It feels like a linen blend tea. This might be a keep for me because I think it's really cute. Okay, so this is the Athleta V-neck tea, and it's still on the website for $49, and I got it at the bins for like 50 cents. So I love when I see that. Um, it just came out last year, so it's more recent, and I think it's really cute, it's really soft. This is definitely a keeper for me. First free people of the day. There it is, lace up Henley style. It's just for good luck. Okay, here we go, another two and it's true. I think this is actually silk, which is great. So I'm excited to look this up. I also found a North Face. These basic fleeces don't do super great, maybe 15 bucks, but I'm getting a little bit <laughs> desperate. So let's do it. I, know. I just think my kids would be obsessed with this. That's so awesome. It has this, they're gonna just laugh so much. How fun. And I think it's their size. I'd like to thank my mother. Yeah, this is very cool too. It is, I saw track and field, and it's actually Nike track and field. And it's in great, great condition. So this is phenomenal. Frame. This is probably retailed for 150 bucks. And it's in very, very clean condition, especially for something that's light. That's really cool. I cannot wait to look up comps on this because I think this will do really, really well. And then just because I can, the frame fringe cardigan. Someone has this on Mercari and Poshmark for $100. It probably retailed for like over 200, so it's insane to me. And it's like in absolutely clean condition, which is really hard for something that's white and for something coming from the bins. So it totally blows my mind, but yeah. This is, I think, really cute. A little bit maybe too different for me, or unless you guys think it's really cute and you think I should keep it, let me know. Um, But yeah, to find something this clean that retailed for this much at the bins for like a buck, I love it. It's, it's like addicting. The bins are so addicting. Okay, a super, I mean, this is basic, but again, gosh, this is a Nike day. Lots of just Nike hoodies, and it's in good condition. Okay, so even though I'm finding things, um, everyone should just be aware that I'm not actually paying for any of this. I'm stealing them and hoping nobody notices. I've been here for hours and hours. How many hours? Four hours now? And I found like a bag full, which is good, but I'm not, definitely not going in here and just immediately finding all kinds of stuff. Like, that just doesn't happen. <laughs> okay, I don't know what that says, but I will look it up. And if it's for anthro, that's usually pretty good. So I will have to look that up later because it's pretty hectic right now. Okay, so back at home, I did decipher what this said. <laughs> so this is Cornelia O'Donovan 
for Anthropology. This is actually one half of a pajama set, but the top still seems to sell on eBay. I saw one sell brand new for $50, so this will probably sell pre-owned for around $30, which is great and it's really cute and in really good condition. If only I had found pants as well, but I'll take one. Why not? It'll still sell. Okay, gosh, it's. I was searching for a long time before I found this, which is good. I really gotta go, but I think it was a good day. I need to add everything up. And again, I swear I'm gonna go soon. The lie detector determined that was a lie. This is Ishakti, which is good. It's in good condition. These consistently sell between $30 and $40 for me, so. Yes. Okay, this might be the last find of the day. We've got some vintage, well, Patagonia girls, crops. I wish it was like an adult size, but that's okay. Okay, I, I was kidding, I'm standing in line now, but this is the last grill of the day. This vintage ski jacket. This is crazy. Wow. This is how we do it. Was such a cool find. So here's the story on what happened with this jacket. I found it randomly at the end as I was checking out, like right before I checked out at Goodwill. And the woman before me had put some items back in a bin because I think she was like second guessing, you know, if, if it would sell or not. And she put quite a few things back. She put back like a North Face thing that I think was a little too dirty even for me to pick up. And then an Athleta pair of leggings. So I grabbed those as well. But she also had put this back. And this is a vintage ski jacket. The brand is Volfa, and I think it's Japanese actually. This is a Japanese brand. I mean, say less. These sell for me all the time, but I saw it on Grailed and Etsy selling for between $100 and $150 or more. I think this was the best thing at the bins that I got today, and it was left behind. So, super crazy, so glad that I found it. Sure. I also just bought myself a Diet Coke from the Goodwill outlet because I don't think I'm gonna have time to go to the gas station today. So we just went ahead and splurged right at the Goodwill. So yeah, a well-deserved treat, I think, after a very, very long bins day. I think I was here for like six hours. Oh my gosh. Uh. Worth it, perfect treat. By the way, this is just me after every bins trip. I have a little, what is this, Theragun mini, and I have to massage my neck and my back because it hurts. Hi, Grandma. I don't know how, if you guys have any tips on how to like do the bins and not have your back hurt, hit me up, because every time it's like, <laughs> I feel old. So as an update on everything that has sold from the bins to add to my budget for my dream wardrobe, I've sold $1,600 worth of items just from the bins, which just blows my mind. I think I paid like 120 bucks for everything that I got and it's already sold for $1,600 and I have a lot more that still needs to sell. It's just crazy. That's the power of the bins. You're spending hardly anything and flipping it into a ton of money. And I only started this challenge like a month ago, maybe six weeks ago so that is crazy it blows my mind after fees that's about After fees, that ends up being $1,100 in my budget that I can spend on my dream wardrobe. So, but they totally give this like illusion of a more snatched waist. Let's go ahead and take off the things that I've already bought. So I spent $330 on a Lululemon jacket that I've always wanted. It's beautiful and it's so warm, by the way. It's like amazing. I absolutely love it. I spent $200 on the wrong Kate Middleton dress. So let's just not talk about it because I definitely can't sell it for that much. That's fine. So that's that leaves me with like $600 left to spend. So I've had my eye on these amazing jeans. I always wear like the same kinds of jeans and I wanted to do something a little bit different, a little bit more of a statement. I don't know, it could be a huge mistake, but they are the Gold E crisscross jeans. And I think they're super cute. Kendall Jenner has worn them. Bella Hadid has worn them, I think. Other celebrities have been seen out in public with them and I just think they're really cool. They are like something like $200 online, which I don't wanna pay retail price. So I found them on eBay for just $100. 
I'm gonna order them, I will try them on with you, and we will see how they look and if they're a keeper in this dream wardrobe of mine. All right, so I got the jeans. Um, I got them on eBay, and they were much less than retail, and they seem to still have a tag, so they might be like new without tags or whatever. So we will see how they look on. I'm a little nervous because this is a little bit out of my comfort zone. It's time for the moment you've been waiting for. Okay, oh my gosh, they fit perfect. And I think they are so cute, you guys. I usually wear just the same old everything, but, um, and I wore like a fitted shirt so we can kind of see better, like the silhouette. But they totally give this like illusion of a more snatched waist than I really have after three kids. Um, yeah, these are so cute and they fit perfect and Oh my gosh, I think they will be an absolute staple in my wardrobe. I'm so glad that I splurged and got them and got something that I really love because as you guys know, but it's been hit or miss with this little challenge that we've had. Like, obviously I don't think I'm gonna wear like this shirt with it. I'm just trying to wear something that kind of shows a little bit better how it fits. But yeah, I think it's so cute. Am I, uh, wait, who was wearing this? Hailey Bieber, Kendall Jenner, am I them yet? How are they walking? Maybe we can do a side by side. A super successful bins day. I have over $900, maybe $1,000 in sales here, which blows my mind because I actually didn't think I got that much when I was going through stuff. I stayed for six hours, so my whole body was hurting by the end, but it was totally worth it because I found some great stuff. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate you guys so much. If you like Goodwill Outlet videos, I have a ton more, so you can click on a playlist here or I have another video that you guys can go to and check out. Thanks again and I'll catch you in the next one.